But Marc Chagall's Eiffel Tower, painted in 1929 in Paris, is a canvas replete with energy, with joy, and with enthusiasm. The National Gallery used to Loire. brag about it. The Eiffel Tower is one of only two Marc Chagall oil paintings the gallery owns, along with several sketches. We see a cock wearing a cap, unexpectedly, and playing a violin. Now, the gallery is selling it. Christie's Auction House calls the work a highlight of a planned sale next month, and it estimates it will fetch between about seven and eleven million dollars. I was very surprised and a little bit shocked even because we haven't seen very much of them selling off works from the collection in recent years or recent decades. The gallery tells CBC News the money will be used to purchase what it calls an important work that is part of our national heritage, but it won't say what that work is. The museum already gets $8 million a year to acquire new work. It says this Chigal was offered privately to more than 150 museums across the country before it was put up for auction. It's nonsense. It's, it's getting rid of our history. This art critic says it is a loss for Canada. It's an inspiration for the public. Uh, it's an inspiration for the kids. And we have to have a knowledge not only of Canadian art, but of international art as well. Leah Sandals is reserving judgment. We can only really evaluate how good a deal this is when we actually see what they're acquiring and see if it's a really is it a really strong work of Canadian art? Does it represent an important piece of national heritage? A document obtained by CBC News suggests there are more changes to come here at the gallery, that it will be getting rid of more works as it reassesses its collection, though it notes that most of the sales won't be of such great interest to the market. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa. As Catherine mentioned there, the sale of this painting could net the National Gallery as much as $11 million, which would almost tie the record sale price for a Canadian work of art. It is Mountain Forms by Group of Seven member Lawrence Harris. It went for $11.2 million a year and a half ago. Last spring, Jean-Paul Riopel's abstract painting Vent du Nord, or North Wind, stunning, sold for $7.4 million. And Paul Kane's scene in the Northwest, portrait of John Henry Lefroy, sold for $5 million back in 2002.